Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and hello if you're new, my name is Sarah and I make a ton of mommy content here on my channel. I also have a bunch of plus size fashion, beauty, clothing that I just said, <laughs> lots of cook with me, clean with me, sweats for dinner videos, home decor, all of that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would absolutely love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be a requested video. I normally do these about twice a year, but I haven't actually done one since like last? I don't even know if I did one last year. I don't know. The pandemic hit, and you know what? All of my plans went out the window. So I honestly can't remember the last time I have done a kids' clothing haul, but I always get requests from you guys, especially as the big seasons change, normally from winter to summer, and then from like fall to winter time. So I'm excited to share with you what I have for both my girls. If you've never seen my channel, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive, and she is six, and my youngest is Eleanor, and she just turned four. So, um, a lot of stuff I have in this haul is specifically for Olive, and that's just because she's oldest and she's grown out of all of her clothes, whereas Eleanor can wear a lot of Ollie's clothes, and she's still in that phase where hand-me-downs don't bother her. She's excited to wear her sister's clothes because of the things that she wanted to wear, now she can wear them. There are a couple things in here, I always want to get her a couple new things, but there are a lot less for her, and that's not because I don't love her enough, it's because I don't want to waste clothes and she's more than happy to wear her sister stuff. So I'm going to share with you everything that I got. Um, in the past my hauls have been very, I feel like there haven't been a whole lot of play clothes. I've been a lot more, especially when they were babies and toddlers, like I love like the boutique cute adorable like jumpers and all of the cute adorable clothes and rompers and all that type of stuff but as they've gotten older one they've wanted especially my oldest have really wanted to start picking her own clothes and what she likes is like clothes like play clothes with graphic tees and comfortable shorts and stuff like that all the cool girl popular clothes for her age um she's less into all the comfortable uncomfortable buttons and hooks and all of that type of stuff and my youngest kind of follows suit with that um but just as they've gotten older I've just realized the necessity for play clothes. I feel like when they were little it was easy to dress them up and dress them down but a lot of these I'm gonna be honest with you are just comfortable easy wear play clothes so if you're looking for super boutique styles this is not the video for you but I still feel like I found a number of really cute things um, I just feel like this era of kid fashion is just comfortable easy shorts biker shorts just graphic tees all that type of stuff it's so popular for their age right now and that's really what the majority that they are both into so um, all the stores that I shopped at, normally I uh, purchase a lot from Old Navy and Carter's, and both of which I didn't purchase from so far. Um, I have stuff from the Children's Place, which is the first time I've purchased from there. Um, lots from Walmart, because Walmart is always my go-to. Some Target stuff. Um, I think that's about it. There may be a couple other things in there, but that's the majority of the places that I've shopped. Um, and my biggest tip also, which this is such an obvious thing, is when fall came and winter hit and Ollie was going to school Monday through Friday, we were doing virtual, but she still needed to wear her, you know, her full outfit, her school outfit. Um, it, it's just, I have now just been, when I shop, I buy a full outfit. So if I see a shirt, I will make sure I find pants to match and that just goes together. Of course, if she wants to mix and match, she can, but as long as I have one shirt and one pant, to go with that, it's good. I feel like in the past I've been like, oh I love that shirt, I love that shirt, I love that shirt. I'm sure she has a bunch of shorts and then she never has shorts and she doesn't get to wear the same amount of shirts because she doesn't have enough shorts. Just my biggest tip, especially as they get older and they're getting into school and they need to be dressed every single day and you need to do it fast, um, is to buy a full outfit, put it together in their drawer, and it's just easy peasy and they know exactly what to grab when they want to dress themselves or if they want my help or whatnot. I'm telling you, I started doing that in the fall winter time for Olive. Changed my life. I know it's such a silly, simple, obvious thing to do, but it just, if I have a shirt that I know automatically goes with a certain pair of pants, that's it. It's done. Pull it out. She's ready to go. 
So the majority of all of these have like a little set to go with them, um, but there are a couple of ones that don't that I still need to buy shorts for, but that's my new thing is like everything will have a bottom. My top will have a bottom, unless of course it's a dress, but stuff like that. All right, enough of me gabbing, let's just start. I think I'll start from Walmart and I will start with my youngest Eleanor stuff. So first things first, I love the Geranimals line from Walmart. Did I say Target? We're starting with Walmart. <laughs> I love the Geranimals lines from Walmart. I feel like they are just so good for the value. All of these are just comfortable, easy summer clothes. So the first thing I have for her is this little t-shirt. It's in a size 4T. It's just three cute little girls with cute little like rainbow tie-dye, everything little outfit. She loves this type of stuff because her older sister likes this type of stuff. So I got this for her. Everything is either, I feel like, earth tones or tie-dye. I feel like that's all I got was either earth tones or tie-dye because I feel like that's what's so popular. So I got these little matching shorts, which I thought are just so cute. She loves to wear shorts, especially ones that are kind of like this athletic type of ringer style shorts. And then I got um, this little shirt that says Girl Genius on it. You, the thing is what's so hilarious is in the past, I was so against graphic tees. Like, I just wasn't gonna buy it. It wasn't my thing. I wanna dress them in cute, perfectly Instagrammable outfits all the time, but that is just not, that's not a thing anymore, all right? Like, they, this is what they wanna wear. This is what I'm getting them. They're comfortable and they're still <laughs> super adorable in it, but the graphic tee, like, hate has died. Next, I have these little pair of shorts. We're just like pink to orange to yellow ombre, also in a 4T. The great thing about these is these are $3.98. The shirts are like two bucks or something around those lines or how much are the shirts? Where's the $3.98? So each item is $3.98. You just can't beat that. They're super cute. They wash really well. Honestly, I find a lot of Walmart stuff washes way better than more more expensive stuff that I buy from Gap or Old Navy or Carter's. So honestly, that's my big my big hint. Go to Walmart. Um, Eleanor picked this little set out for herself. She got this kind of tie-dye marbly black and white tank with like multicolored rainbow pastel stars on the front. Again, oh this one was $2.98. And then she picked out these biker shorts. Biker shorts are so in for everyone, aren't they? I remember when biker shorts was like the thing to wear when I was in kindergarten and they were like the uncool thing to wear, but they were like a thing to wear. And I remember wanting to like have jeans all the time and all that type of stuff. And I like hated when my mom bought me biker shorts, but they were play clothes and it made sense. But now it's like the kids are like, I need these because they're cool. And it's so funny how like trends come around. Anyway, $2.98 for each of those. That's her little set that she picked out for herself. Um, she also picked <laughs> this cactus sequin shirt out. Now, this is definitely not up my alley. I will go with the graphic tees, but she picked this one out, and she was really excited about it. It's the flip sequins. We got this one. This one was from Wonder Nation. This is actually in the girl section. This is an extra small 4.5 for five for five ninety eight. All the other ones were actually the toddler section. Both girls got these. They're both matching. Um, this is from the Wonder Nation line. These are, um extra small for five this is Eleanor's for $5.98 I just like this cute little top easy to wear with shorts I love the little kind of cutout detail in the back but what's really nice is it comes with a matching mask um, these are kind of heavy they're a little bit heavy I feel like for summertime but I feel like that we can still make these worth this work especially for like indoors I don't know why their kids aren't wearing masks outdoors but if we were indoors I feel like this would be okay um, but just really cute really soft lightweight they had a bunch of different designs the both girls have a matchy one of that. The last two things for Eleanor from Walmart. She picked, she picked this out. I let her pick out a lot of her stuff. Um, I feel like she's getting to the age where she's like really has her opinions, just like her sister. So she picked out this for Fourth of July. My dad used to always buy this line at Walmart. These are the like the celebrate clothes, and he would always buy them every single year whatever season it was but especially for fourth of july because he was really really patriotic but he would always buy the girls like the saint patrick's day ones the valentine's one the christmas the halloween and so i've always carried that tradition now too this is the one eleanor picked out it's a cute little fringe tie-dye tank it'll be fun for all of the summer barbecues and just fun fourth of july things um this was 426 this is a 4t these are always at least in all my local walmarts on the end caps of all of like the clothing sections for the kids. And then lastly, we found this in the clearance section. She is so big into uh, My Little Pony, just like her sister was. And we found this one. This is from the 36, 
uh, five kids uh, from Duranimals line, and this was um, on clearance for $9. It was originally $15.98, so a really good deal. This is in a size 6. I decided to size up for her just so she can wear it a bit longer. Um, she has really long arms, um, so I feel like this is going to work for a while, and this will just be a nice kind of like fall jacket for Texas. I loved the cute like little bead tassels right here in the sequins, twilight sparkle, and then it says friendship is sweet on the back, and it's just super adorable. She's going to look so cute in this, but this is something she found and was very excited about. So a lot of their winter clearance is obviously on sale right now, um, but we found a good couple of pieces that I really like. So let's move on to Ollie's clothes from Walmart. So her 4th of July piece that she picked was this Jojo Siwa tank. This says Peace, Love, and Bows. She's not as big into Jojo Siwa as she was, but this was still really cute and still really fitting for her personality. So it is cute little self like tie in the front. It's adorable. Um, this one was a bit more expensive. This was $6.98, but still adorable. And um, she's gonna look so freaking cute. To get the shorts to kind of match with that, I found these. I love these. These make me think of the 90s so much. These are like uh, uh, waist bag, paper bag, little waist, what am I trying to say? Little paper bag waist at the top and they're like this fun dye. I don't, this just screams my childhood and makes me think of like full house and step by step. I don't know. I don't know, man. I love it, but I love even the cuffs at the bottom. They had a bunch of different colors, but these are the ones that just screamed. I need to get these. So we got these for her. Um, these were $11.94. They were a bit pricier than everything else, but they're really nice quality. They're going to look so gosh darn cute on her, and she can wear these with so many things, but we're mixing and matching, but for right now, we have it with the 4th of July shirt. I just feel like these are perfect for summer. Um, but these are in a size 5. So she's a tiny little waist, and I always have to buy kind of smaller pants for her because they just slide on off. I got this little shirt, which actually will go well with those shorts. This is a cute little ribbed, um, like, three-quarter length lettuce trimmed shirt. I don't know. It's really cute. I liked the roses on it. This was from Wonder Nation, and this was $6.98, and this is in a size small. And then these pants. So these last three items are kind of things that I don't have specific outfits for that I really need to pin down because I really want to go with my outfit thing. Um, but I got these pants. These were on clearance. These were $5 and these were in a size 6. And I just loved the like patchwork vibe of these. I love the cute little unicorn right there. And then they cuff at the bottom. But they're like peach on the front red and peach in the back and I just thought these were so cute and look adorable on her. They may be a little bit big because they are a size 6 so we'll see when like kind of really fall comes to see if she's grown. I mean she's growing so much lately so I feel like they'll be fine but I just thought they were way too cute to pass up so we got these. These will probably sit in her closet until fall because it's going to be so warm to wear jeans but I like them a lot. Um, instead, so when the, <laughs> Eleanor picked out her cactus shirt, this is what Ollie picked out. She's still into uh, unicorns, but more so just horses in general. She just loves horses. But she specifically likes ones that look realistic and are like printed, like a screen print, not like a character or cartoon. Um, so she print, picked this one out, just a basic unicorn shirt. Nothing that exciting, but you know, $4.98. Okay, moving on to more like the play clothes side. Not that they weren't all play clothes, but um, she picked out a couple of these. This is this little rainbow tie-dye tank. Um, I got these in a 5T. She obviously is technically in size 6, but a lot of I find the Geranimal stuff kind of runs a little bit big, so I feel like these will fit her just fine at least to get through the summertime. Um, they're so inexpensive, I just feel like it's worth it to buy these. So this was $2.98. I found this shirt in a 5T, and I just thought it was adorable. This actually looks pretty big, um, but it's a sleeveless little like muscle tank I feel like and it has like a tie in the front and it says dream big and I just thought that was so adorable. I also got this little rainbow tank. Um, also just a basic little tank. This is $2.98 and the bottoms I got to go with it um, are so cute. So first off I got just a basic pair of the sh shorts. The Geranimal sh brand for shorts are my all-time favorite. I'll be so sad when my kids grow out of these. <laughs> They last so long. They're so nice, nice quality. They aren't super, like, tough 
uncomfortable denim to wear they're super easy um, there's an adjustable waist these are still fitting her and they're actually kind of big like I will have to tighten these because she's such a tiny little waist so these are 5t 450 you just can't beat it so I got her a pair of like bleached denim shorts that you can wear with really any of these and then I also got two of these skirts i thought these are so cute and something she'll be able to wear um at school next year as long as she doesn't grow way too tall over the summertime but these are just like bright neon um little denim skirts with fringe at the bottom and i loved the adorable buttons so only one is actually adjustable up top but the other two um have little details and i just thought it was so cute there's pockets in the back this was 450 once again these are in five t's um and then i also got her a purple one i believe there was also a hot pink and maybe a blue um but just so so cute so i got her both of those and she can mix and match and wear um them with these two tanks is really what i intended and then the dream big shirt will go with these shorts so trying to make outfits okay moving on to target so i only bought a couple of items at target they were having kind of like a sale recently so i just bought a couple things these are for eleanor she picked out this really cute bright i feel like this is just all i want to buy are these colors just fun pg like retro colors they make me so happy but she picked out this one the sunglass one it's in a 4t i think it's adorable um and it is was 450 and then i think i got like 20 percent off or something like that off of it so basically nothing and then um she got a pair of these shorts i ended up buying like pretty much the exact duplicate at a different store so i may take these back and exchange them for a different pair of shorts but i love these like periwinkle blue color i think it's so pretty these are also in a 4t these look actually pretty big i might have sized down to a 3t for her um she's also like just a super tiny little bean so we'll see these maybe a bit big but false feels she can wear them throughout next summer as well next i found this dress from art class she loved it i thought it's so pretty and she has like a beautiful deep tan skin tone and so i think this will look just so beautiful because she tans up so much during the summertime despite the amount of sunscreen it's just her jeans and um, i feel like this is just gonna pop so beautifully off of her tan and i just love it it's cute and ribbed and adorable um this is super stretchy so i feel like she can wear it for quite a long time this was 12 dollars, but again i think this was also on sale um when she goes to pre-k next year because she will be going in person both of my girls will be um they don't have dress code as long as like they can get in and out of clothes and don't have to have someone help them go potty then they're fine so a lot of these things she can easily wear through next like the beginning of the uh, school year before it gets really cold which it doesn't until like october so um she's gonna look so cute all right ollie picked out only a couple of things she picked out this tank which we don't have shorts for yet she does have a couple shorts that will fit from last year so i may just kind of wing it for that at least this one but she picked out this little shirt it says vacay mode it's a uh, cat and jack tank from the girl section i believe this is in a size small yeah size small 6xx and um it says vacay mode it's just ombre i think she picked this on a whim so we may see like i really want her to have clothes that she really wants to wear and will kind of hopefully transition to school next year she won't be able to wear this because it's a tank top um but i don't know we'll see um i do like the twisty in the back um but i just i feel like she was like i'll just take it so i want her to pick things out she really likes especially because she's getting older and she's getting kind of picky with her clothes so this may go back but we do have it <laughs> um and then lastly she picked out this dress and loved it it's from art class it's once again um that ribbed material this is just a really pretty basic purple one that has kind of like that ruching in the front and the straps are this like fun ruffly stretchy straps that kind of go into a razor back and then it's just kind of flares out like a fit and flare dress it's super cute super basic she's really liking just kind of basic things at the moment um this was 14 dollars. again this was on sale this is really cute unfortunately if she does wear it next year she'll have to wear some sort of jacket on top or it over like a white tee or something because she won't be able to wear the straps to school the last place i forgot to tell you was kohl's so i do have children's place after this but kohl's is next there's only a couple items from kohl's um every time i go in there for my boobs are probably hanging out my apologies um, every time we go in there for, um, to return something back from Amazon because it's free, I, you, they always give you either Kohl's cash or like the 35% coupon code or 25%. I feel like it ranges. Um, and so I got stuff with that because I feel like it's just such a good deal and they always get me. It's how they can make money, I feel like. Anyway, 
um i got these two like a little outfit set for each girl first one is this unicorn shirt this is eleanor's like main thing she's now into the unicorn phase where everything she loves is unicorn so it's just a basic really cute screen printed tee this is from jumping beans we actually really like that line from kohl's and then like i said these shorts are super similar to the other shorts these are 3t um so these actually will probably fit her better this year so i may keep those and let her wear those for next year i haven't decided yet but she does have this cute like little set to go and then it's for ollie i love these i feel like these are going to be really nice for school next year she'll be able to wear this outfit so i got her this horse shirt um it's pink and has like these really fun pretty flutter sleeves and then um there's like a front tie i got her a lot of front tie shirts i didn't realize i did that tie front top this is in size six this is from the sonoma brand um and was just so cute and lightweight i feel like perfect for the summertime and then i got her these shorts from sonoma um these are huge <laughs> I should have sized down to a five, maybe even a four. They're giant on her. But the good news is she'll be able to wear them for a while. I did, as you can see, like already like adjust the waist so much. Um, but they do have a fun sparkly button. But they are long enough for her to be able to wear to school. So we'll see if they slide off her booty or if she can, her little hips hold them up or not. Um, but I just think this is such a pretty cute little, little, little outfit. Okay, these last three items are the things that I got for Eleanor, and this is from the children's place. So I think pretty much they're done. Um, I feel like they still have some clothes they can wear from last summertime. There may be a couple shorts, like I said, that I need to get to finish Ollie's outfits on the bottom. Uh, but I think Eleanor's completely done. She has so many clothes from her sister, so she doesn't need any more. Um, but the good news is a lot of these things she can wear next year for school time. So um, I did get her three pieces, though, uh, from the children's place. I got her this, like turquoise blue little um a-line style dress it has this uh pretty sequined gold butterfly and the back is crisscross and it just kind of goes straight down her and her sister have one to match i just thought this would be pretty for summertime especially because like i said they both get really tan so this is an extra small um i don't think i i think maybe something from here is from the toddler section but i did buy this from the little girl section so hopefully she'll be able to wear it for a little bit longer um they were having like a really good sale it was like buy one get one 75 percent off or something like that i don't know it was a good sale i've never shopped in a children's place before so um it was just testing things out and i like what i got so i'll have to go check them out again um this is the other thing i got from children's place for eleanor i just thought this was so cute it'll be so pretty for the summertime with some shorts and then in the fall with some like denim leggings i just loved it um it's super stretchy and you know that like scrunchy smocked fabric and then the flutter sleeves this is in a size four extra small um i just thought this was adorable it even goes into like a lettuce trim at the bottom and i thought this would look so cute on her so i'm so excited i got that one and then i got her this dress um olive has a matching like this in a matching fabric it's just not the same cut so this is her dress this was in the toddler section this is a 4t i wish i would have sized up for a 5t i don't really know what i was thinking um but i think this still will be fine it's a one shoulder type of dress i just think it's so cute i love this butterfly print with a peach on it once again this is just a really comfortable dress nothing too stiff that's just what I've learned, that they are like no longer letting me dress them in those like stiff like overalls and all that stuff. They want comfortable, easy, nothing to fuss over. So those are the three things that I got Eleanor. I did get some jellies back in the past. Honestly, we need some more shoes. I feel like their feet grew so fast. They just keep outgrowing everything. So I need to get them some new shoes, a couple more pairs of just basic sandals um, and a pair of like sneakers. But she is done <laughs> and then ollie um like i said i feel like these are the color scheme just like peaches and rust colors and pinks and then like blue <laughs> um like i said i really like the children's place i haven't shopped there before i feel like everything else i was looking on like carter's or old navy which is where i normally shop with i just didn't love anything that i was like putting in the cart i just thought these were pretty and different from what they have so i was excited so um, this came in a pack together, but these are once again just kind of this flutter sleeved, smocked up here, ruffled, couldn't be off the shoulder or on. Um, little tops. I love this like really pretty floral print. She likes floral as well. And then this orange one I thought was so pretty. Once again, 
just basic off the shoulder or on the shoulder flutter sleeve these are both in size small and like i said they came in a pack together um this dress i thought was beautiful and i thought would be nice to be able to wear it to church um it's just this smocked top with this fun little bow up top and then it just flows out it's kind of that chiffon material i thought this was so so pretty it actually looks really small maybe not on her but for me it looks small here so we'll see maybe i should have sized up i did get it in a small but i don't know anyway but it's still really cute and this apparently is a mom and me set so apparently you can get this for yourself i doubt they have plus sizes but if they did i might have looked into that because i think the dress is so cute um, she definitely asked for horse shirts. Once again, she wants them to look realistic, no cartoons. So I found this one um, and I thought it was so cute. And it was just basic and nothing too too much, um, and which is something she's liking right now. And then the, the sequins. Um, it does have kind of like the cutout crisscross in the back. But this will just be some cute with some basic shorts. Uh, like I said, I need to get shorts for all of these. I didn't buy any shorts there, but I think I'll just go get some Duranimal shorts from Walmart um, just to fit with these, but I got her that one. Um, and then this was the matching fabric, but this is actually a shirt, so this is just completely smocked all the way down, then off the shoulder flutter sleeves. Um, they didn't have a dress to match this one, otherwise I would have got the matching dresses, um, but this one was just cute. Apparently butterfly was my theme. I didn't realize that because I've got this butterfly just basic t-shirt um, I thought it was really cute and then it has this like tie in the front It's really nice and baby blue, which I feel like is super on trend this year um, This is a size small. This one looks really big. So she'll definitely be able to wear that to school next year um, I got her this dress which ironically matches the dress that I got Eleanor pretty well so I got her this ribbed floral peach dress um this Eleanor's kind of is a fit and flare this one just goes straight down um but I thought this was so cute it has little buttons it's really nice and lightweight easy to play in but still looks adorable so this was in a size small five six and then here is her matching dress just like Eleanor's with the blue once again, just a cute, easy play dress, but it's fine if we, like, go out to dinner or something like that. Um, and then lastly, she's super into crop tops. She has two. She wants more. Um, I'm trying really hard to, like, balance <laughs> well. Um, but I found this set, and I felt like this was really cute. It has basic, like, these kind of, like, flowy shorts. I'm sure this will shrink in the wash. I didn't know that it was this fabric. I should have checked before I purchased it and sized up because this thing is going to shrink like nobody's business. I'm not a fan of this fabric. I think it's, like, the poplin fabric. But it did have a little tank top, which already looks too small. <laughs> Look at that. Look how small that is. But it kind of looked cropped, but I figured these could just still kind of hike up. So we'll see. This is in a 5.6. It looks super tiny. This is the thing she's most excited about. But it's perfectly lightweight for summertime. I feel like it's perfect if you live somewhere super warm like we do. All right. I think that is it. Um... I did get something for myself. <laughs> if you're looking for more plus size fashion for me, I got a video coming, but I got this from Rue 21 and it's a My Little Pony shirt and I thought it was so fun. I want to wear it with my biker shorts. Here I was complaining about biker shorts when I was a kid and now I want to wear them. Um, but it's just giant and oversized, but it's My Little Pony and I was really excited so I could just hang out. These are the original My Little Ponies that we had when we were kids. Um, I'm sure they're going to be like, let's not wear that. So, um, anyway, that is it for this video. I hope I gave you some ideas. Um, I honestly just now just shop all over. I like H&M. There's cotton on. Um, like I said, Old Navy, Carter's, Gap, Target, Walmart. I honestly just kind of feel like a vibe that I go with and we just run with it and kind of see what the girls are really into. I feel like everything's really similar. I think that's why I didn't end up buying from a lot of other places. Everything is tie-dye, um, which I don't mind, but I just feel like I'm just constantly buying them only tie-dye stuff. So I wanted to switch it up and I really liked that a Children's Place had a good variety of options. So that is everything that I got. I hope this helped some of you guys. And for those of you who requested, I hope you appreciated and enjoyed it. Um, I love watching these videos too. They're so much fun. I just have such a hard time not spoiling my kids and buying them everything. That's where I need to draw the line. But 
Um, if you like more of my plus size fashion or fashion for adults, I have a couple of videos coming your way. Um, a big haul from just kind of all different places and I'm excited to share with you. And that will be coming up really, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It would mean the world to me if you left a comment below, hit that like button and followed along with us and our little family. We're growing surely but slowly. We're growing slowly but surely. Slowly but surely we're getting there. And I'm just so thankful for all of you who've supported me for so long and just so consistent and just become my friends online it means so much especially in this year of isolation um yeah so thank you for being there for me so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video by the way i never mentioned i'm in my kids room <laughs> i probably should have said that this is my kids room um we completely redid it and we loved it how it turned out i do have a video of me kind of just redoing their room so if you're interested in seeing that let me know below um i didn't know if you guys wanted to see that or not but i did film it um but i loved how they turned out it's so cute it's like a perfect i feel like age range for their room where they're getting to be like bigger girls and like want all the cool girl stuff but still age appropriate and i love how it turned out so i would be loving to share that with you and um, that is it again finally i'm done thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys